Okay, the first piece of advice is that you should always be confident about what you think and what you believe. The second piece of advice is to really think about what you enjoy doing and do more of it. And the third piece of advice is to always surround yourself with good people because the people that you surround yourself with um, really affect the way that you are and the way in which you grow. My name is Joanne Joseph and my job title is Actuarial Analyst for Group Actuarial in Allianz SE. The coolest thing about my job is that I get to travel. Um, so it really depends on which projects you're allocated and whether there are specific reviews for your allocated OEs. But typically you would expect to travel a little bit during the year. And the more I learn about Alliance and the more I learn about the way in which the market works, I think that that makes me happy and that makes me realize that I'm in the right profession. I think you have to be quite technical in my job. So if you don't enjoy technical work and being able to process technical information and relay it to, to other people in a non-technical sense, then it's probably not the right job for you. Um, other than that, um, you, if you don't enjoy dealing with people on a day-to-day -day basis and you don't enjoy um, working with a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds, then probably it's not the right place to be. Allianz is an insurance company uh, with many entities across the world. And here in the group center, um, we consolidate all of the different entities data and in my department which is group actuarial we look specifically at the reserves of each of the individual operating entities of Allianz and what we're responsible for is to check the adequacy of the held reserves of each of the different operating entities. We in group actuarial are involved in the quarterly closing process so that is the third, sixth, ninth, and twelfth months of the year. And so during these periods, my work would typically involve um, a lot of analysis on the files that the operating entity sends to me. After the analysis, if there is something which looks incorrect or not not reasonable to us, then I would clarify with my boss and then I would go back to the operating entity and um, challenge them on what and what their reasoning was for reporting this number. In addition to this, I would have meetings with my boss and perhaps different other departments who are also involved in the closing process. Typically, our role is one of a consultant because we, we are available to give advice to the operating entities. But outside of quarterly closing, we also do other actuarial investigations. So this could involve travel to different des destinations or or maybe just um, within the office, we could be analyzing a specific problem. And there may be, there's typically a number of different projects that run at the same time. I'm from London in England. I studied economics and econometrics at university and gained a degree in that. And since then I have been working. So as soon as I gained my degree, I got my first graduate job as a student actuary. And subsequently I applied for a different role in a different company as an actuarial consultant. And then I decided that I wanted to move abroad and it wasn't possible within my current company. So I looked externally and that's how I ended up at Allianz. I started at this position in Allianz and I started this year in June. So I've been here six months, five months. Ensure that you have a mathematical background is the first thing. If you don't have a mathematical background, then it's impossible to be an actuary. Um, in addition, you need a certain 
level of work experience prior to being in this role because it's it's not the type of role which a graduate could do straight from university even if they've done an actuarial degree it requires some some sort of knowledge and knowledge of the different markets no matter which market worldwide but some sort of actuarial knowledge um and probably also a, a want to deal um to, to work and deal with um, international markets and international people, mainly.